Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I run a Depop shop called Primary Studios and also my own website. Um, it's raining today. I live in California so it's kind of a rare occurrence but it's been happening a lot lately. Hopefully it adds a little bit of a cozy mood. I also have my tea and my thrifted mug. I have some veggies on one side. I thought it'd be a nice time to just share with you what I found and show you how I styled them. But before we go to the haul, we're going to start out with a little vlog portion. I did get very tired by the end. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys at the try-in portion. I went thrifting on a Saturday so it was a little bit busy so I did not do a voiceover. But first I went to the shoe section and I found these Clark Wallaby dupes but they were a little bit too dirty. And I also found these Adidas shoes. They were also not my size so I did not pick them up. I found this cardigan kimono denim jacket thing which I really liked and I also found this ruched leather jacket. I thought it was really cool. It's a little bit more unique than your average leather jacket and it has like that moto neck. I also found this like pink metallic jacket but it felt a little too dated. I also really liked the kind of Japanese fashion inspired look of that blazer jacket thing and then this it was a cool find because it's from Escada which is like a mid-level luxury brand. I like the details on this button up as well too. I also found these really crazy super long denim jeans that remind me of the ones in Sophia's video so I thought that was interesting. I didn't think that would pop up in my local thrift. I also found these jeans which have these really cool heart pockets in the back. Definitely very Y2K fashion. I also found this cardigan that has this really lovely fur collar and a super long length. This trench coat picked up my interest because I've been wanting one that's a little bit more lightweight and waterproof. This one is missing a button though so that was a little bit of a bummer. I really love flowy pants but I decided not to get them just because I didn't really need them. This blouse is really fun and bright red and lacy but I thought it was just a little bit too fancy for every day because that's what I prefer to wear, something more casual. I'm trying on that Escada top. I decided not to get it, which I think was a wrong choice because I love it. And I found these really cool denim like coated pants, which I thought were really fun. I tried on this Free People cropped hoodie jacket. Decided to leave them because they felt a little bit too modern. I do pick up modern things, but it wasn't really working with my shop. I also tried on these two running shorts, but I like the second one better just because the first one were low waisted, which is not something I'm into. Tried on the jacket, which I still really liked, but I think I found a pen mark on it, so decided not to keep them because the pen is pretty hard to get out of suede. Then this kimono jacket I really liked, but the fit was just kind of awkward on me when I tried to tie it, so I decided to leave it. I also found this really cute nylon bag, but I didn't really love the logo detail. And I really liked this bag, but the handle was a little bit ripped in some areas and it was dirty, so... I found this pair of jeans and I really liked the little tag on the back, but I did not love the skinny fit, so I decided to leave that too. These last two pieces are super gorgeous, but I didn't pick them up because they were a little bit too fancy for my shop and just for me to wear every day. But I hope someone who really likes it finds it. So let's just get started. I'm going to first start out with Salvation Army. I went, I think about two weekends ago. Well, I think I went on New Year's Eve. Yeah, I went to Salvation Army on New Year's Eve and I picked up a few things. And the first item that I got are these chunky like platform heels and they're from the brand Nine West. I just like the, the sole is really unique. It has a little bit of tread and then it has like the platform in the front and the back and it has the ankle strap and a little bit of like a cutout peep toe detail on the front. I just really thought the style was really funky and fun. I thought it would look good with all the maxi skirts that are trending right now. So it's a size 6 medium. It was in pretty good condition for being what I think is either Y2K or 90s vintage. And it's just, it's just a cute piece. So this is the first thing that I got from Salvation Army. This is the next piece I want to show you. Let me just button it up a little bit more. So this is the button up. It has this really pretty like kind of preppy logo of it looks like like a Roman soldier on a horse. Yeah, another basic, but it's a really good piece to have in your closet. And I like it that it has like this little little point of difference. So the next piece is from Good American, which I didn't expect to find at the thrift store. It is this python or snake print coats with kind of like a metallic sheen to it. 
It is a full length trench and it doesn't have a belt with it unfortunately but I just thought it was such a cool piece. It's not super heavy or thick either so I think it could be worn either late winter or early spring. Even into late spring maybe depending on where you live. It just kind of adds a nice drama to your outfit but because it is like a gray more neutral color palette it still kind of feels wearable. So this does fit like a large I think. I'm more of like a medium and this is like slightly oversized on me. It has a little like bit of drama where it has the pattern that you wouldn't expect but it's not so loud that you couldn't wear it every day. I'm always excited to find pants at the thrift store even though they're kind of hard to sell because of the fit of a pant is so personal to your size and body and stuff. But I found these Levi's like khaki balloon pants and I love like balloon style pants. I also like how the back has this elasticated part so that it would be a more comfortable fit. It has just like all these really fun details like this pleating in the front as well. It has these like large cargo style pockets and I wish it was my size. I think it would technically fit but it would just probably fit a little bit lower rise on me. I'm usually a 28 and this is a size 29. Okay, next piece also from Salvation Army is this really fun like almost velvet or toweling material. It's from the brand Apple Seeds and it's in the size medium. I just really loved this color. I think I saw Cup of Jordy, I know I mentioned her in the last video, but she had like a bag, a Prada bag in this color. And then I also saw that I was browsing on Depop and I also found like a purse in a corduroy with this color as well. So I was like, it just like stuck in my brain and I wanted to find something in that color. Just cause I feel like, I feel like this color will be trendy next year. I just love the texture on it. It just feels like a really easy throw on piece, but because it has some color, it makes your outfit just look a little bit more interesting than if you threw on like a white button down or something. It's such a cozy, like comfy material. And I love it when fashion and comfort meet. This one is definitely vintage. I think I'm thinking like 70s, but I'm not sure. And it's this athletic quarter zip. And I especially like the colors on this. It's like a deep maroon red or brickety red maybe more maroon and it has this logo right here with the letterman d and it says vikings and then a little embroidery for someone's name linda right here i think yeah linda so this probably would fit on a small or maybe extra small best for an oversized look but i just liked it it just felt kind of cozy and fun and i love how it has like that classic vintage letterman vibe it also has this elasticated part on the bottom and I'm just a sucker for like any contrast detailing because I feel like it makes the structure of a garment look more interesting. Just a very cool look and I feel like pairing it with some like maybe like one of the cargo skirts that are trending now or even just like a long more slim maxi skirt with like chunky sneakers would be a good way to add a little bit of like femininity but still keep that athletic look with the sneakers. We still have a few more pieces from Salvation Army. It was a good day. <laughs> I found this little like polo shirt and it was brand new with tags, but I forgot it had tags. So I washed it and then the tag got all messed up, but it's still wearable and it's in great condition. I didn't realize when I bought it, but this brand apparently is like a pretty pricey golf brand, Aqua Scudum, and it's in a size small. I really liked like the contrast white trim right here and the contrast button and also this bottom portion has a little bit of ribbing which is in a cream color i heard pink apparently like light pink is supposed to be trending i think as like an after effect of the ballet core aesthetic that's been really popular since like the end of last year so very cute piece i'm glad i found it and i'm excited to style it in the try on clips also can you hear the the rain it sounds so nice. The next item I think also is from Salvation Army and it is by this brand called Alex or A-L-Y-X. I know vests have been popular for probably like the last year and a half, but I really like this one because it has like this interesting cut piping detail, has a lower cut neck and it has a few buttons down the side and it also has these little buckles in the back that adjust the fit so you can make it tighter or looser depending on how you want it to fit. So if you wear a top and then like wear something like this and then wear a jacket, it adds like that little extra layer, but it doesn't add the bulk of wearing like a full cardigan or like a full length jacket underneath. It's not like the typical vest that you see people wearing, like the suiting as well. 
This is technically a little bit like suiting inspired, but it kind of feels more casual so you can wear it on the day to day. I think this with like a really long green plaid maxi would be really fun with maybe tall boots and like a beret or a funky hat and a lot of jewelry. Okay, the last item is something I got for myself and then this, this little metallic bag. I didn't want to like pay for a mini bag in this kind of style just because I didn't know how often I'd wear it. And I mean, I know myself, I'm someone who really likes wearing like really huge bags. But I just thought this would be a fun little like way to add some interest to an outfit. It's honestly like pretty poor quality and it's like a Victoria's Secret bag. So I feel like it's like one of the free things that you get if you like order a lot of things. But I mean, that's only $5 and $5 to try out a trend, I think was not a bad investment. Isn't it super cool? I haven't used it yet or, or like taken off like the wrapping and stuff or the tags because like I feel like this could be a good gift for someone as well. So I will either keep it for myself or I will maybe gift it to someone later on. That was everything I got from Salvation Army. Now we're going to move on to savers. I'll start off with the things that I got for myself first. The first one is this trench coat and it's from the brand French Coat which I think is a funny name French Coat Paris and it is a waterproof kind of raincoat nylon material on the outside I really like the color on this as well it's not like your usual like more camel brown tone that a lot of trench coats come in because that is usually not very flattering on my skin tone I like how this one has a little bit of a greenish undertone so it's a little bit more flattering instead of having the usual like buttons, it just has snaps and it does have the look of buttons on this side right there although the top one is missing so I'll have to replace that soon it still has a belt which is nice I've always wanted to like be the trench coat girl but it was really hard with my other one because it's so thick and heavy so it felt a little impractical for my everyday but this one is definitely something I can wear all the time so I'm excited I found this and I can't wait to find the proper button so I can start actually wearing it out next piece is just a basic pair of running shorts i only have like two pairs of running shorts and i need another one they're nike dry fit and they're in a size medium i don't think i got anything else for me the rest is just to sell on my shop next piece is really cool it's from puma it has this double collar detail and it has this seaming on the shoulder it's like a sl very slight shoulder pad the material is made out of this like, olive green rib knit the the tag does look like it's a little bit older so it could be 90s it does seem more like a modern style but it's it's kind of hard to tell just a really nice piece to have the next pair of pants i thought are super cool i don't think they're vintage but i really love the design of them and these are some men's jeans they're 100 percent cotton but they're coated with like some kind of material that makes it feel like almost like leather so it's a lot more pliable than like your average leather pant the back is really where it shines i love this logo patch and it has this zip detail on the, the back pocket it's in a size i think 30 men's 34 i did try it on just to see how it fits and i think it would, if it was like a woman's sizing it'd probably be like maybe a woman's 10. it's by the brand american boy by Jacques Model. I thought it was a cool find. Next is another pair of pants I got from Savers. It just looks like your basic pair of jeans from the front, but in the back, it has these amazing heart rhinestone details. It's like a rainbow color palette as well, so it's just really gorgeous. It's a size size 5, 6, so it's probably from a junior brand, which I think is usually like a size four in contemporary women's sizes it's probably a little bit too small for me but it does have a like, good amount of stretch and it is a thicker cotton it's not like your flimsy material it has a little bit more weight to it which i love because you don't see that too often on more like decorative pants like this i normally wouldn't purchase something like this because it's a little bit more young and like colorful than i usually do most of the things i pick up tend to be more neutral and i like that new york downtown aesthetic and also like this little detail adding the logo right there it just makes it a little bit more interesting in the front okay the final item is from savers as well and it is this beautiful little hobo bag it's from free people and i just love like sling bag and i like the paisley print on this one and i like how it has this huge buckle so you can adjust the length of the bag i feel like you could put this like wear a leather jacket and like maybe a fitted tank top and like a looser skirt and then just throw this on top and it kind of adds 
a casualness to it that gives a more effortless look. I forgot one last piece. This is a jumpsuit. I like this style because it feels almost like overalls. It has like a lower cut on the side so you can wear like a t-shirt with it. And then it zips down the back, it has these ties. And I really like the color and texture of this item. It has like this dark blue, almost grid pattern or stripe running down. And it's on top of like a really deep denim -y kind of material. I think this is made out of cotton, so it would make sense if it is denim. And it's a little bit more of like a looser fit. It's in a size medium and it's from the brand Six Crisp Days. You can see it right there. I'm looking forward to getting back into my jumpsuit phase because they're honestly super comfortable and they make you look like you put a lot of effort into your outfit when you just put on one item. That is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!